What's up guys, Jonas Gowan back again with another video and today's video is going to be a little bit shorter. I just want to let you guys know that now I've worked about three hours so I'm sorry today's video is not going to be very long. But today we are talking about how to remove the trim in your Chevy Cruze so you can wrap, plasti dip it, spray paint it if you're into that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go over that and then that's probably going to be the end of the video. So again, I'm sorry that it's going to be short but you know, I just have, I have work later on and... Yeah, let's uh, let's go out to my car and I'll show you guys how to do this. I don't know what I'm saying, just stalling it right now, okay. All right, so the easiest way to do this is to start with this piece right here that goes around the shifter and everything. And the first thing you need to do is grab up here by the shifter and you just pull it up. So that pops up pretty easy. And then you can just pull it up and leave it there for now. And then the easiest way I find to do this is to kind of grab down in here, like you can kind of hook your fingers in here, and just pop the clips up, and it's, they're pretty firm, so don't be afraid to, uh, don't be afraid to pull them up, but also be kind of gentle, because you don't want to break them either, and then uh, move your way up to here and just pop these out. So there's the first piece, and uh, your traction control box is connected to there, so if you want to remove that, you can just pull that plug out and you should be good. But uh, that's how you get that piece out. Really simple to do that one, and uh, then you can wrap it, do whatever you want with it. Now up here, this one's a little bit more difficult because you kind of have to get your fingers in here, and it's kind of hard to grab onto. So I kind of like grab in here and put my thumb in here and pull. So yeah, it hurts your fingers pretty bad, but just keep working at it. If you don't have very strong fingers, you might have to get like a flathead screwdriver or a plastic budger or something, but you can definitely get it out like this. I'll keep working at it and, and uh, get it out, but just gotta let my fingers rest for a minute because I just grabbed a flathead screwdriver so I can kind of pry at this a little bit. There we go. So now it's popping out. And then once you have one side out, the other side's pretty easy. You just kind of pull it out. And your vents are going to come with it. So there's the second piece out. You might have to get a flathead or something to pry at it a little bit. But this piece is definitely harder than the first piece. So that's basically how you do these trim pieces right here, how you can remove them. And then I guess you can remove your radio from here as well, but I'm not doing that. So that's how you remove your trim pieces. So when you're ready to pop your trim pieces back in, this is really easy. You just want to take your trim piece and line it up. Make sure everything's lined up correctly. I usually start on one side and kind of just pop it in a little bit. Don't have to pop it in all the way. And then move over to the other side. Push it in, get all the clips connected. And just give it a good little press over the whole thing. Make sure everything's connected and everything still works. So that's how you do that one, that was super easy. And then the bottom one's even easier, you just take it. I usually uh, make sure my wrap is good right here. Should have got the heat gun out, but it's all right. Then you want to, I usually start on this side, just kind of push it in and work my way down to here. And there you go, there's that piece back in. 
And you also want to make sure your wrap is kind of not in the way here because it makes it hard to turn these. So I'll probably have to pull this back off and uh, redo the wrap or like take my heat gun and fold the wrap down. Which kind of sucks, but you know, it's whatever. I'll probably just leave it for now since I don't really want to mess with it. Then you take your shift boot and push it down. I usually get the bottom part like right down here in first and then just pop the top in just like that push your shift boot down and you're good so that's how you put them back in really simple and yeah it's pretty easy so I just got home from work and realized that I didn't record an outro to this video so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to drop a like down below also comment what you thought and subscribe for more videos like this one and I'll see you guys in the next one peace there's an ant on my camera uh, okay yeah he's gone